So let me know first how the size would be qualitative function now, overall. Okay. Your RV, size. Okay, you're right. Okay. Um, now pericardium. So now I can try to make the apex a bit uh, better seen because the effusion seems very good, very good. So you have two choices. You either scan like you did with your angulation or you could just bring the probe down along your long axis. You had a rib, keep going down. You're going to go past the rib and now you can see that very well. Okay, so now... Now you can uh, go do short axis. Like driving on ice, you know, it's like go yeah. slide over here. Perfect. So how would you quantify this if you were now? Would you make it? No. Uh, and just as we're there, do an apical. We haven't seen it yet. Yep. So you see here, if we're looking at this, it kind of looks like a subcostal. Yeah, so if I'm just doing this, this allows you to see, you see here, whoops, you're a little bit, you're not exactly at the apex, you're a little bit at the RV. So move, perfect, a little more towards the apex. So here you're moving the beam, try to move the probe itself. There you go. Try to move the probe itself. There you go, perfect. You have a bit of lung, but there you go, you're getting there. This is a five chamber view. You see your fifth chamber, okay, four chamber, perfect. So now if you want to see if you're at the apex, I'm just going to turn this like this. So, look at that. so you see the apex is going in and out of the face, but, but this is very good. So if you would foreshorten the apex, so if you would do this, you see that your probe is angulated, so if you angulate it even more towards the apex, you're going to see, you see, you're showing me more, oh, you're in front of a rib now. So what you could do is go over that rib, so go and enter space down. Yeah, keep going until you pass that rib, there you go. Because you're, you see, you're still bringing the probe, you're still bringing the probe down, but instead of bringing it, so this is where you would want to look for it. So if you don't see it well enough, then you can't presume anything. But if you see it well, you may say, you know what, that looks like... In fact, this in this case is a papillary muscle. So what you could do is like you're doing now, you're just kind of playing with your planes of cut to try to trace it. Sending aorta, sending aorta, main PA with the pulmonary trunk, left and right branch. And if you are not sure, you can put your virtual reality and just point it here. You see if I go to this little textbook, when you go there, it tells you this is the right pulmonary papillary muscle. You see the muscles are here. Very nice. So that's an easy plane to go back. And see here how the function. You can see that it's not really contracting much. Same thing for the RV. If I put my elbow on, right in the ventricle. Here this is, you see it even better. So this is the RV. This is the first cavity, this is the LV. So you can see that it's kind of straight compared to what it can be when it's hyperdynamic. It's easier than She said a lot of fun. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Yeah. It's just that you know it brings. It from different ways. You have panic. You're talking about teaching, panic, you visual, and you have auditory. And you have to scan, so you can kind of. And you know, appreciation for orientation is far better than they can. And when you're scanning, you can ask. Uh, the, you can see the participant if they know what they're doing what they see and what they will do, that then you can say, okay, do this or that with the patient. So go back to your long axis. So do you, can you remove the battery? Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's do So you yeah, can you test put, somebody. Exactly, so there you go. You can have them come back and test. Exactly, so then I can, I can have this, so what do you think? 
Thailand is a little bit obscure, at least with dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Exactly. You can even do an M mode on this. So you can use it just indirectly, qualitatively, to see if it's beating a lot or not. So that, that's it.